Hi everyone, my name is Amir Echeverria, and now I'm going to talk about uh, performance analysis considering relative humidity and the maximum output power of a uh, PPC using EIS technique by the Transport Phenomenal Research Group. So let's start talking about the online of this presentation. First, we have the introduction in with which we are going to discuss about energy consumption, in the PPC and the main goal of this project. The second one is the experimental, in which there are the fuel cell test branch, setting experimental, and internal system obtaining. Um, the next one is the results, in which we're going to see the relative humidity effects and the resistant results. And finally, we have, we have the conclusions. So let's start with the construction of energy consumption. The consumption of electrical energy is increasing over time. In fact, developing countries have estimated to increase the electricity consumption from 46% to 68%, from um, 240 to 2030. And in industrialized countries, the demand will grow 0.9% per year. To meet this demand, no renewable energy sources such as fossil fuels, coal, and gas are exploited, giving us a result that 80% of the energy in the world is obtained from this type of energies. Other ways to get clean energy to avoid using non renewable energy sources are the fuel cells. Fuel cells are electrochemical devices capable of producing electrical energy from chemical energy presented in the fuels. Its operation is based on the construction of hydrogen and oxygen cases to produce electricity and heat with high efficiency, and the water is one of its outlets. In PPC, the transport of fuel pass through bipolar place channels, then goes the gas diffusion layer, reaching the catalyst layers, like uh, you show in the figure three. And finally, we have the production circle, and there we have three different regions, such as um, activation, omnic, and concentration. And the main goal, although there are several studies concerning the performance analysis of the PVC, there are many operation conditions in which a uh, PVC can be operated. The present study shows a performance analysis of a PPC based on polarization curve as a function of the relative humidity, focusing on the maximum performance point. So let's talk about the methodology. And the results used to carry out the experiment are the fusel test system, a single PPC, a distribution system of reactant gas, Hydrogen and oxygen, and luckily a portable computer. A schematic diagram for the test branch is shown in the in figure five. Um, it permits setting uh, several input parameters to evaluate the performance of a PVC in real time. The fusel test system has integrated flow controllers for the inlet cases to modifier tanks with the respective uh, header elements and electronic load and a frequency response analyzer. Also, the MIA characteristic is presented in table one and in table two are shown the setting experimental. The relative humidity of the inlet cases is related to their temperature it was period in order to evaluate different relative humidity values. An uh, example of the configuration employed was 80-80-80, which represents annual cell and cathode temperatures respectively. The site temperature were changed in a step of 10, in 10 degrees Celsius from 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius, then the current range that was used it was from 0 to 60 amperes with a step of 0 0.25 amperes per minute. It was, and then mm, the resistance obtaining, it was used at um, CW to obtain uh, the Nyquist 
curve modeling as an electrical circuit using resistor, capacitor, and inductors. The accelerated uh, circuit is composed by two resistance and two constant phases elements. This type of model is also called um, double random. So in the relative humidity effects, um, we have the, the two figures, uh, figure seven and uh, figure eight, and they show the relative humidity influence on the PVC performance, operating at high relative humidity improves the performance of a PVC considerably. It causes that the polarization curve have a wide operating range. In the polarization curve with the best performance occurs when the relative humidity has a value of 100% having a maximum operating point. However, uh, the lowest performance was uh, obtained at 16% uh, of relative uh, humidity, having a, uh, having a minimum operating point. So in other words, uh, a reduction of relative humidity from 100% to 16% demands a performance decrease of uh, 53% approximately. In the second chart, we can appreciate the power depending on the current density. The, the form of, of this trend is parabolic that increasing until to reach its maximum power point and then it decreases. So, uh, you, in this, you can see from liquid diagram that the highest relative humidity um, the power up to improve because the total resistance decreases as the curve gets smaller and shift to the right. So in the only resistance, uh, when the relative humidity have a value of 16%, the only resistance has its maximum value of 14.30 milliohms and reaches a minimum of 3.87 milliohms with 100% uh, of relative humidity. The increase of the relative of only resistance when the cell works at low humidity may connect it with the low membrane proton conductivity due a low height term. Also, uh, two types of correlation were tested were the exponential correlation obtaining the best fit and the different type of correlation is are shown in the table two. So in the charge transfer resistance, the decreases at uh, the relative humidity increases from 16% to 100%. The maximum resistance value obtained was 15.87 milliohms and the minimum was 1.95 milliohms. These values are mainly due to the transfer of oxygen within the catalyst layer at low humidities and there is less dissolved oxygen and there is a low permeability of oxygen and hydrogen in the catalyst layer since the polymer electrolyte is in a state of deshydratation causing gas diffusion problems. Also in this case, and the best correlation was the polynomial, again showing the table three. Uh, finally, we have the mass transport resistance. The greatest contribution in the total resistance is presented by the mass transport resistance at a relative humidity less than 21% and it presented at the lowest uh, contribution starting at 66% uh, of relative humidity. The maximum value to reach uh, is 16.87 um, milliohms when the relative humidity is 16% percent and the minimum value occurs when the relative humidity is 100 percent with the value of 1.91 milliohms decreases quickly due to the increasing increasing of water containing in the polymeric membrane benefiting the proton conductivity as it happened with the uh, 
uh, on me resistance and the master for resistance. The best correlation was the uh, exponential again, uh, like you show in the table four. All these uh, correlations were obtained in based on the correlation expressions proposed by Spinoza and Santana in their, in their research. If you want, you can check later this one. Uh, finally, um, the table shows show uh, the individual contribution of the resistant depending on the total resistant. In most cases, uh, only resistant is one of those that contributed the greatest contributions. And the graph to the side shows the trend of the different contributions of the resistant using the data from the table. So, uh, in conclusion, we have the first that is according to the data obtained, uh, the better output power can be reached operating a high, rel a high relative humidity. The next one is it was figured out that the two resistant, resi only resistant, charge transport resistant, and mass transport resistant have a decreasing trend when the relative humidity increases up to 80 degrees Celsius. And the, the next one is um, the charge transport resistance suffer, uh, suffers a slight change with respect to other resistance. Also, the OMI resistance and the mass transport resistance greatly influence the performance losses with a high relative humidity the charge transport resistance and the only resistant are the domain causing the performance losses. And finally, um, the empir empirical correlation proposed were adjusted with an error squared greater than 0 0.99, demonstrating the accuracy of the expression to quantify the internal resistance as a function of the relative humidity. So that's all for this project. Um, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next time. Bye.